Limitless Listing Subscribers, welcome back to another Vendor Spotlight. I'm your host, Dave Scalora, and we've got our good friends from RPR back, Andrea Goodhart and Ernie Bottom. How are you all doing today? Great. We good. are doing well. Awesome. It's great to see you. It's been a while. It's always great to see you guys. Uh, and, you know, every time I see you, you guys are always come up with some some neat new feature, uh, and today is no exception, you know, so... Uh, I know you guys are all on for for our uh, you know subscribers. Maybe it's first time our new agents. I guess maybe we start just a little bit about you know before we go into the new features. Uh, you know who is RPR? What do you guys do? That's right. Um, so you know it's it's really great that we're able to visit with all you MLS listing subscribers. We really appreciate you know the opportunity, Dave. So thanks for having us with sure. me today and we're going to really dive in in just a minute to really what's new and there's been a lot happening at RPR with some new features and those include our shareable market trends charts and data um, but then the AI script writer and how to even implement that with Canva in our free templates so we'll be showing you all of that but for some of you that may be just joining us for the first time, let's just quickly take a, a minute and review what is RPR. So Realtors Property Resource is an NAR member benefit to all Realtor members across the country. We are actually the nation's largest property database that includes not only public record data, on all property types, whether it's residential or commercial, lot, land, multifamily, but then we integrate that MLS data as well as several other sources of property data that's aggregated into this single database for Realtors use. So again, it's exclusively for Realtors. There's no additional cost. This is all brought to you by NAR and our partnership with MLS listings as well. And there's no consumer access. So everything that you create and generate on RPR, you as the Realtor member are there to reinforce the data and all the tools and reports with your consumer clients. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Ernie and I are really psyched to talk about all the new features um, related to these market data stats and all the tools surrounding that. So it's really, really important that you as a Realtor member really understand the trends and what's happening in the marketplace. So using these RPR data-driven, you know, stats and charts, you really will stay ahead of the curve and be better willing and able to help your clients. So with that, Ernie's going to start and we're going to show you some different ways in which to get to these new market trend charts. And we're going to start very easily with just a property search. So yeah, so we brought up just one property and it's kind of nice because we have all the different tabs available for each property. And you'll see the second one here is labeled market trends. So I'm just going to click on that. And that takes us right to the market trends. And uh, each of the sections has a little um, informational button. So if you want to find out, you know, what is this chart showing and how can I talk about it? Just click on those little um, informational buttons uh, and then you'll learn all about it. That's right, Ernie. And so let's quickly scroll through the data again and some of the different cards and charts that are available. At the very top, real quick, to the right, you'll see property type. So with all of these market trend charts, you can select uh, from one of the property types that's appropriate. The default is checked, but you can go just to single family, for example, if that's what you wish. But with that, with the very first market, market trend chart here. It's really important. This gives a nice insight to key indicators within the market and what everybody wants to know today, whether it's a seller's market, a balanced market, or a buyer's market. And that's really key when your clients and customers are asking, hey, what's happening in my marketplace? So you get the months of the inventory, 
you get the list to sold price. So as we see here in San Mateo, properties are still hot and selling over list price, but your inventory is still very low. So it's a seller's market. How long is it really taking that median days in the RPR is really showing that again, properties are moving quickly. So that means your client, your buyer needs to make a decision quickly. And then it also provides the median sold price. What's really important too, is that you'll see below each indicator, the month over month. So that tells you what is happening with that particular trend. And that's really important. So that's the first chart available. Then the next two, we have active listings, or the next is active listings. And this again, as you look at the top tabs from median list price, you can click on each one of these segments to get a drill down of just that detail. So number of properties, click there, you get a different chart and so on through each one of those particular items. So again, the total active listings in this particular market really tells you that there's only 18 properties, but again, you've got key indicators here to help you analyze that market and give some great consultation to your clients. You'll see up here at the top where Ernie has his cursor, you can collapse any of these particular charts um, and cards and just move through each one. So next we have the sold listings. It pretty much speaks for itself, but again, you'll see those key indicators in each tab you can select as well as whether you want to look at it for just one year, two years, three years, or all in one particular you know, chart. So that's really important as well. And then as we move down to the next, you'll see sold public records. This can give a little bit of a different perspective as to the total market. This includes both properties sold uh, through the MLS, but also just off market as well. Now, I will say that you need to be careful with this particular chart simply because there are states, if you're looking other than California, such as non-disclosure states, that this may not be providing a total picture of what's happening um, with sold prices. So again, can be very helpful to you, but review each one of these segments as it applies to the client that you're working with. As we move down to the next chart, we have listing inventory for San Mateo. And this is a great way to just very get a quick visual as to the different type of properties that are on the market, as well as an inventory of distressed properties and what activity in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure is occurring. And then of course, we've got the median estimated property value. This is that midpoint that is really sharing with you again, uh, whether you display the last three years and those trends or whether there's changes month to month and what's happened over the last 12 months. And you can see that that's fairly steady this year. So with that, each one of these charts, we really encourage you to explore each one and and really take a look a little bit further as it applies to your client. As we move down a little bit further, I think there's another. Here we've got sold comp stats presented in a new chart as well. So that's an excellent view again of some of the sold data and how that is displayed and where some of those key maybe sales are happening at what level of square footage and price range as well. So you can kind of give some expectations to your clients. So Ernie, why don't we scroll back up to the top and maybe collapse all the others uh, charts as we did, 
but you'll see up here that we have a print option. So with the print option, if you want a quick print of one or two of these charts, whatever you have requested or expanded, kept expanded, you may print those charts or save to a PDF. Maybe there's one or two charts you'd love to show at an open house, for example, um, or insert into your listing presentation presentation package, all of which you could do very easily with the print mechanism. Okay. And it's nice. Any of the, the charts that you collapse won't be printed. So you kind of can, can control what you're going to show. Exactly. Thanks for pointing that out, Ernie. So with that quick overview of a lot of the different market trend charts that you do have available, I think Ernie's going to take us back to the home page and we'll take a look at another way to get to these uh, market trend charts. So we're back on the home page and we're going to do a quick search for an area and we're going to do San Mateo and we're going to go to the map view and you can see the geographical area here on the map. If I choose the geographies here, I can pick a neighborhood and then you're going to see they're highlighted in kind of a little brown uh, outline. And if I choose one of these neighborhoods, one of the options that pops right up is view market trends. So if I wanna look at the market trends just for this small neighborhood called Hillsdale, we can see the market activity in this area. So we don't have to look at the big geographical area. We can really drill down to some of those uh, smaller neighboring areas. That's great, Ernie, because really what's it all about today is being hyper local and knowing, you know, your neighborhoods that that you're servicing and marketing to. And a lot of times it's great to be able to respond to that. Hey, what's happening in San Mateo? But I really want to know what's happening in my market right here in Hillsdale. So great way to do this. And then another way is to come up to the very top, click on the research tab, choose residential market trends, and then we'll go ahead again back to San Mateo. And here we can go right to the market trends for this particular area. So again, you can get it from a property, you can get it from a property search, clicking on the map and selecting a particular geography, or we can come right from the home page to the research tab and search for market trends directly. And you can do that by city, such as this, or by county, by zip code, or even drop in a neighborhood right here as well. So mm -hmm. lots of flexibility into getting to these market trends. All right, so look at the the different options we have. So again, we looked at the print feature, but now we have uh, something called share. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see it brings up a little window where we can call this chart something special, or we can leave it the way it is. It's defaulting to the most current month, which currently is May. And then we can see that chart is brought right into this uh, share tab. So we can, if we wanted to, we can share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and then under more, we could download it as a JPEG, a PNG, or we can just copy it to our clipboard and then paste it into some other program. So you have a lot of flexibility. So let's go ahead and let's click on the Facebook option. It's then gonna take me to my Facebook page and it's gonna drop that chart right in there for me. So again, you can see it, it's in Facebook and I can then add some some descriptions here if I want to talk about that chart. Could so, that be any easier? I mean, not if, it, not if an old guy like me can do it, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to, to the RPR website. And the other button we're going to look at, which is a, a new feature that just came out, is called Create Script. And here it's going to be using that um, artificial intelligence programming to to really create something for us to use as a great starting point. You know, it doesn't have to be your finished script, but it certainly gives you some place to start and something to work on. And so let's go ahead and look at the options we have here. Uh, under tone, there's professional, engaging, and conversational. 
Then by audience, we have buyers and sellers, just buyers, just sellers. And then under here, we have what would you like to do with the script? Well, we've got a video, social media, or an analysis of the, of the metrics. That's great. And we're going to take a look at a few of these. But, you know, um, I'm really curious, Ernie, as we look at these different options, is it really that easy to create these? And, and it's using the chat GPT AI program, correct? Yep, yep. All right. Look at this technology. So here so we just clicked on the video script. And this is really nice. It gives you, you know, a great place to start in putting a great video together. That's right. So if if you are already doing YouTube videos or you have a video blog, you can create a script right here. And then, of course, a little extra tip. There are teleprompter, free teleprompter programs that help you to read those scripts along the way. So yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, so you can see it's customized. It says opening shot of Ernie Bottom, a confident and professional realtor. So it tells you the you know how to maybe even set this up. Then it has the script cut to a graph showing the months of supply of inventory, which again you get from RPR. Some additional scripts, some another cutaway. And so you can see it's just a really easy to navigate video script. Um, and then you can use this. And again, you, you can customize this. You know, you can put this into a, you know, Microsoft Word or something else and then, uh, you know, personalize it for yourself. It's just a really easy program. It's like That's having your right. own kind of producer, huh? <laughs> exactly, right. There you go. So yeah. there's the copy script option. So you can copy it all and drop it into your own program. Or you can just quickly send all that via email and deal with it later. But very quickly, it's created this script. How fantastic yeah. is that? That's yeah, really so neat. That at, is really neat. <laughs> let's look at the um, the metric analysis here. That's a, a little bit more detailed. Yeah. And, you know, when we were looking at this, too, um, it's kind of like this is a very detailed and again, we're using the tone of professional, but you can switch up those different tones. But with the analysis feature here, this is probably speaking more uh, and using this within your blog. As, and it's great for a blog post and more of a long form presentation. Yeah, and again, it's bringing in the statistics from the market trends, so that's all incorporated into this, uh, you know, this uh, the script. Um, and again, you know, you can use this uh, in so many ways. Uh, even take pieces of this, putting in into an email or or sharing it some other way. Exactly, and intersperse those charts too. Those nice graphics that those visual options are just so important when you're working with your clients to engage them. All right, so let's go to the social media because we want to show you how to really take this and and make it part of your um, your presentation. So we'll you choose engaging again. The other option there would have been conversational, and then we're going to just pick sellers. And then we'll just choose social media. And, you know, while this is is creating, just to note, I mean, you saw how quickly that that really generated. But this is using the AI to go out and generate that script and bring back. So you'll see that circle and it may take a moment or two uh, to, to bring back the text for you. And if you look at this, it's kind of cool. It actually drops in some little uh, emojis here, you know, to kind of, you know, personalize it. Again, we're using the engaging um, tone. Uh, so it's, you know, need a quick sale. Homes are flying off the market in record time, giving you the advantage as a seller. So again, it's really creating that urgency. It's, uh, again, setting you up as that professional realtor. So let's just go ahead and we'll just highlight a couple of these things. I'm just going to hit copy, and then we're going to go over to um, our Facebook page. And then again, I can just drop this right in there, uh, and it's all written for me. And then I can certainly add my own uh, comments here if I'd like to. 
And really, there were several comments um, that the script writer provided. So that gives you content um, for several different posts, whether it be Facebook or, you know, Instagram or, you know, via email. Hey, and Ernie, one other thing. Um, some people that are familiar with Facebook, others may not be as much, but up at the top, it says show to and, and who to show this to feature. So that's available to anybody. So even if you just want to send to one specific person or to your sphere, or you've created a group, let's say for a particular neighborhood, you can identify that as to who you're sending to. Right. It's perfect. And or even a private message if you want to send it just to one direct contact. It's it's very easy to do. Excellent. And again, like like Andrea said, you've got all these different elements of the script and you can just come back here and then post another one using one of these other charts. It's it's you know, it would look totally fresh and new. Excellent. I think if anyone has struggled providing, you know, content or coming up with content on, you know, your different social media platforms. This is just such an easy way to really dip your toe, I think, into this whole new era of AI that everybody's been talking about. But this is an easy and practical application, you know, that's here ready for you to use right now. Yep. I tell you, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's hard to do. But that is that is a really cool thing. And you're right. We've been talking about AI, you know, obviously anywhere you look, you know, in every industry. And the one thing, you know, that's undeniable is the benefit part portion of it. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it's all about making it nice and easy, providing content. And, you know, agents can go ahead. And, and what I love is they can take it and just if they want to use it just as a base, just to kind of, you know, create, get creative and start with their, you know, flow and then change it up. But it's going to save them time and allow them to go ahead and do what they want to do, which is sell homes and build lasting relationships instead of having to spend hours and hours creating the content. Right. Exactly. Uh, Exactly, a, Dave. And, you know, we're going to show you at the end, too, on our blog, we have created so many resources around these market trends and the shareables and the AI script writer. So, it, you know, take a look. We have been getting comments and feedback along the way from lots of folks that said this was the easiest thing ever. I finally, you know, stepped into this AI world. So yeah, really. Yeah, that's a, yeah, because you're right. AI, you know, it's for a lot of people, you know, it's chat GPT. It's a whole different world and not everyone's too comfortable. I mean, that is super easy. You choose the tone, you choose who you're looking for, that buyer, seller, or both. Uh, exactly. and, and, and get that script. And then, you know, I gotta ask you, is that print feature, is that new? Uh, the print feature when you're on, no, um, what's new is the, when we first introduced the, the market trend charts, we've had the print feature there because what we'll share with you too, is that this new design and version there, all these charts are not totally implemented into the reports feature yet. Gotcha. So we wanted to make sure that there was an easy way for you to print. Um, so whether it be a PDF, you know, or for a flyer, whatever else, um, that print feature is there. What is new along with the create script, when we kind of previewed this in our last session, these weren't shareable. Gotcha. So gotcha. sharing them in different ways as well as creating the script. I like it because I've always snippet. I used my snippet tool. And I always snippet yep. it and paste it in. You know, I think a lot of agents did that. So I'm glad you guys pointed out that, you know, that feature. That's that's really nice. Great. Right. So let, let, let me just scroll to the bottom and then we put this is actually kind of new to these little uh, quick jump buttons. Uh, so I can just click bottom and then we're right there at the bottom of the page. And you'll see a link here to our blog. And let's go ahead and click on that. All right, so here we are on our blog site. Again, you don't need a password to get here. Uh, what I wanted to show you is at the top here, you see the word learning. And all you have to do is just put your mouse over that. And on the right-hand side, you see Canva templates. 
So just click on that and it's going to show you all of the different templates that we put together for you. Now you can use them for social media posts. You can use it to generate a mailer, um, presentations, all different kinds of things. And we're just going to pick one of these templates and we're going to show you how easy it is to use. Uh, so I'm just going to click on one and then I can use this template. Okay, so we've loaded the Canva template into Canva. And again, this is a free version. So we want to customize the template and we need to download this graphic from RPR. So let's go back to the RPR website and we're just going to select share. And down in the lower right, we're going to select more. And here we can download it as a PNG file, which will work great for Canva. It's going to put it on my computer. And then we'll go back over to Canva and then we'll choose to do an upload. All right, so here's our market trends. It's loading in. And you can see this market trends in the example was from Scottsdale, but we're gonna drag over the market trends from San Mateo. And just as easily as that, we put it here into our Canva template. And if we wanted to, you know, we can customize these other little sections to personalize it for myself. Uh, and then we're gonna rename this here at the top of the page. And then the next step is to actually share it. So we wanna download it to our computer. Oh, look at, I got an award. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, so let's go back now to, uh, to RPR. And what we're gonna do then is we're going to put it into Facebook. So let's go to our Facebook page. We're gonna create a post. Ernie, you're going to get a lot of new friend requests after this. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> All right. So let's add our graphic that we just downloaded from Canva, San Mateo. And it just loaded it in just like that. And we can, again, use the uh, content from the script writer to create our little post here. Uh, and then we're good to go. So it's just that easy um, to take the shareable graphic from the market trends put it into Canva using those free Canva templates and then posting it to your social media. So again, very easy to do. And, and I'll just say that Canva has become a very popular program within the real estate industry to really create really professional graphics, charts and graphs. So don't be intimidated. Again, this is a free version of Canva. And then we provided on our blog, all of those um, free templates. So Ernie, real quick, go back to the blog. Well, and no, let... for, first, I want to show you the RPR oh. Reels. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, yeah. this is there. something that's pretty cool. Um, so the website, again, it's, well, not website, but on Facebook, you just want to search for Realtors Property Resource RPR. There's no Again, no, it's not a closed group or anything. You just come on in here. And then you'll see an option here called Reels. And these are some short videos that Jeannie and our marketing department put together. And they're on all the different tools that we've just been showing you. And again, they're nice short videos and she's very engaging. You're going to really enjoy these. Uh, so do come and take advantage of those. Nice. Definitely. All right. Now we can go to the blog. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go back to the blog. And Again, just so you understand that why Ernie took you to the blog is that um, the under learning, this is where all the Canva templates of ours are posted, the free um, templates that we've created. But, you know, if you go through the full series and you like three or four, you can download those and have them and not be jumping back and forth. But again, lots of different designs already available to you. And again, as we say, our mantra at RPR, all the tools on RPR are no cost. They're part of the member benefit. Yep. So I tell you. Advantage. That is awesome. I, I mean, you guys really hit a home run on these on these updates. I think we're gonna have to create like a, a new training class just to, you know, hammer home these <laughs> things, oh, which know. actually leads me to you guys have a wonderful learning section as well, right? Yep. That's it. That's it. 
So Ernie, why don't we just, since Dave just mentioned it, let's oh. go up to a couple of options and, and go to the learning um, center. And you'll see that there's webinars, tutorials, all available on different topics, different dates for you to register, many of these. And oh, there we go. On July 18th, we uh, have uh, an AI, we write, you share RPR's easy to use AI tools. So simply click on that option and you can register for free right there. Um, and then after we've done that particular webinar it, or with all of our webinars, we always send you a recording afterwards. So keep in touch on the blog, but there's lots of different learning resources on the blog. So whether it be webinars, whether it's eBooks, uh, printables that you see to the left or tutorials, Dave, you know, you've got a great training team, but I tell you what, we probably already have a video on the topic that you need. Hey, yeah, so, that's right. That, yeah. So simply share those that we have. I must tell you too, and admit that Ernie, click on the eBooks, if you would. And just to share with you, there are lots and lots of different options, and we've created a full set of ebooks as well on, um, on the AI, uh, as well as using the market trends. And they are so comprehensive. There's even a few on social media and uh, one master the market lights camera. Uh, sold captivating consumers with market analysis videos. We give you hints if you've never set up a video, but you know that this year you've committed to doing video. Start with this ebook. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. So lots of different topics um, and all available from the learning, uh, you know, tab there on the blog. So. There's a couple of other things that we haven't quite mentioned yet, but it's really important that we do. So you're all familiar with RPR Mobile, and you're probably saying, hey, if I'm out in the field and I get that classic question, what's happening in my neighborhood? What's the market really like? I'm confused with what's happening. RPR, the market trend stats, are now available on your home page right here at the bottom where the red arrow is. You simply click on market trends and you have access to the same trend, you know, market trend charts that you do on the desktop version. So it's a great way to access these and be able to send them quickly, you know, to your clients or for you to get an update and then speak to that particular area and what's happening in the marketplace. And, and it, it's going to default to the location where, where you physically are. But again, in this search bar here at the top, you can change that to, to any nearby area or across the country. Well, that's right. And the property type drop down and filter is available. And on the next screenshot, I believe, Ernie, um, you'll ask, well, what about how do I share it? So at the very top, before you get the pop up that's down below, you'll now see a share button. And then once you click on the share button down at the bottom, you'll see again, same as on the desktop, market trends for the particular area, the, you know, the chart subtitle, if you wanted to change any of that, and then you select how you want to share that. So right from your mobile device, share to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you are, and what's unique about the mobile app is you also have the opportunity to share straight to Instagram. Um, so that is a unique feature on the mobile app. If Insta is where you're doing you know, your social media, then maybe coming right here to um, the mobile app and looking at the necessary market charts and trends that you want to, to send to your clients and post. So 
we haven't forgotten anything, whether it's the desktop version or whether it's right. your mobile app, you've got access to all these market trend charts. With that, you know, we really encourage you to, to follow us on whatever platforms you're comfortable, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, you know, LinkedIn or, you know, a, any story that we have on our blog, you can email directly to others within your company or your team. So whatever you'd like to share, you know, you'll find RPR on the platform or platforms of your choice. And I think, you know, the other piece that's really important too is YouTube, our YouTube site. And, you know, it's just simply at NARRPR.com or not .com, sorry, it's up there at the top. But we have all current, you know, series of videos and tutorials, as well as those reels can be found there. And also our podcast, our marketing team has done some great podcast um, episodes, and most recently with some marketing experts um, just on AI. So, you know, go to YouTube, go to our other channels and lots of content available for you. Gotcha. You know, even on our YouTube, we've got your guys linked up uh, that emblem. So if you're on our YouTube channel, watch the videos, click on that one. It's going to take you right to the to RPR's YouTube and subscribe to their channel. They've got great content, obviously. Uh, That's right. Making it, That's right. I, and uh, Dave, it's under your YouTube site, under channels, correct? Right, correct. Under channels, you see that logo, yeah, that RPR logo. I tell you, so much great content today. I mean, AI, script writing, market trend reports, uh, the Canva, there's just so much. And, you know, we've been we've been really hammering. It's a, a tough market, low inventory, as you know. Yeah. And we've been really hammering. you got to differentiate yourself out there. And you guys have such great tools, free tools. I mean, social media, you know, and, it, and it, what I love is it's so easy. I mean, you guys literally three clicks and, you know, you import boom, 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 and you're you're up and rolling. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. It's really nice. I can't tell you how appreciative we are of you guys being a partner with MLS Listings and everything you guys give us and our subscribers. And uh, I can't wait. You know, I'm sure we're going to have you back in a couple more months, maybe talk more mobile. We talk. Uh, yeah. That's right. There's, there's some new, uh, new features coming out on the RPR mobile app. Uh, this summer. So keep an eye out for that. And what else do we want to share, Ernie, a little bit later this year? We want to talk about RPR commercial. And I know you think, well, I don't do commercial, but there's tools in RPR commercial for every realtor. So whether you don't do commercial or you do commercial, there's some great stuff here. We'll show you uh, later this year. And, awesome. and there's so many practitioners that really do both, you know, whether you want to call it the resi commercial practitioner, but all the great demographics and other data that's available there is great. So get into it, have fun with these new market trend right. charts and the shareables and the AI script writer feature. You know, this really is a way to reinforce your hyper-local knowledge in your marketplace. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that. Hyper-local, that's we another you know, facet. But I tell you, you guys are welcome on any time. Um, if you want to host a show, just let me know. <laughs> you know that's uh, we'll have the script written, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll let AI write it. I tell you, then we'll promote it on social media in, in two clicks. So, what a world we live in! But yeah. you know, er, Ernie, Andre, thanks so much uh, to all our subscribers out there. Make sure you know watch this video, of course, and hey, attend that July eighteenth uh, webinar, right? Uh, with you guys. I would definitely recommend that. And until then, uh, stay tuned for more vendor spotlights. Thanks again, everybody. Hey, thank you so much. Make sure to check out our pro support page for additional videos on a full range of topics. And don't forget to click that subscribe button on our MLS listings YouTube page.